Now in the 10th year of the Formula One in Schools World Finals, 38 teams have come here to Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi to engineer, to design, to market their own racing car to a strict standard of rules and regulations. And the best of the best, well, they won't drive home in a Ferrari, but they'll take home the Bernie Eccleston World Championship Trophy. They make a little car out of wood. Uh, it's, it's charged by a CO2 gas canister. It blasts all the way down this track. You can imagine if a Formula One team got hold of this project, they could, they could easily spend quite a few million on it. you look at it, it's just a little bit of balsa wood with some wheels, but you can see how much effort they're putting in. They're doing CFD, uh, computational fluid dynamics on them, um, and they're bringing together all the tools that they're going to be using years down the road in, uh, in F1 cars. A bit of focus on Ferrari World Abu Dhabi, and we all saw what went on two years ago, and uh, just coming back here, or the incentive to come back here has added more and more countries to be uh, getting involved with F1 in schools. These are the pit displays where the teams basically tell the story of the evolution of their cars. The competition is on the next level this year, really tough. It's been the best ever. We've raised it another level. I mean, there's things here that we didn't even know could be done. Uh, and it's not just the cars and the designs, it's the presentations. I've, I've seen a few presentations where the teams are actually acting, not presenting. These guys, every year, they just get better at doing things that are more difficult to look at, measure, check. Detail of the engineering. I've seen students here who have now been given jobs in companies like Boeing, Rolls-Royce, uh, Formula One, Jaguar Land Rover, and they wouldn't have done it, they told me that quite openly, without having this uh, an involvement in this competition. It's a marvellous event, bringing together so many young people from all around the world to compete against each other, but also to meet each other and get to know each other. Lane one takes it, a 1.003, ladies and gentlemen, for Colossus F1, which is a new world record for F1 in schools. This is a completely different uh, challenge this year to design a helmet around Roman Grosjean's head in two hours. I mean, the whole world of Formula One is massively under pressure. Every weekend, this is exactly the same. We've got two hours to finish on the second, and if we don't finish, we fail the challenge. Uh, congratulations, that was uh, a really good effort by everyone. World Champions for 2014, the English National Champions and World Champions, Colossus F1! Has it been worth every single sleepless night? 2,000%. <laughs> Talking of Colossuses, uh, Sam Michael is alongside us and a patron of that great program, isn't it, Sam? It's absolutely fantastic. What the kids do in there now is just brilliant. I mean, they're, they're doing things right from the start of design, you know, creating a concept, manufacturing it, marketing it, have a race at the end for performance as well. <clears throat> it's absolutely brilliant that they do that with a piece of wood and a CO2 canister uh, <laughs> to keep the costs out of it. But it's, it, they're 13 to 16 years old. It's just incredible. It just sets them up for F1 and any other business in manufacturing.